Whoa. My turn to get a closer look. Impressive thing. Just the sheer size of it. If they were feeding, these sharks would come in like an express train. But test bites are far more cautious and considered. Bring up, bring up. God, that's a big shark. This thing can grow to the size and weight of a Volvo estate. So it's hardly surprising that a test bite could prove to be lethal. So when sharks bite us, most of the time they're just trying to satisfy their curiosity, something that's backed up by the numbers. This year, counting all different species of shark, there'll be around 80 shark attacks on humans, with some 10 fatalities, with just one of them down to a great white. However, there's a far less well-known shark that's much more dangerous than its big brother, the great white. It's the bull shark, otherwise known as the Zambezi. For a smaller shark, it's got a huge mouth with an awful lot of teeth. Steve, I'm going to show you the business end of oh, the Zambezi yeah. shark. Whoa, that's... An... Look at the pinning teeth on the bottom yeah. and the cutting teeth on the top. Oh, right, so these are the ones that grab you. Yeah. And then these are the ones that cut you. Absolutely, like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, they're serious, serious set of jaws, aren't they? And what sort of size of shark was this from? Uh, 2.5 to 2.8 metres. Right, OK. A very big jaw for a shark, uh, yeah. you know, that's quite small. Uh, yeah. Pretty much a pocket full of punch. That's quite a big... Um... That's quite a big bite. It's not size, tempt fate. That yeah, could. Exactly. Uh... <laughs> it may well be that the great white is getting a lot of flack it just doesn't deserve. Researchers are beginning to think that many attacks blamed on the great white might actually be the work of the bull shark. The bull shark is the only shark that regularly lives in both salt and fresh water. It likes to hunt inshore, even up rivers. It's all over the place, but it's a stealth killer. Hard to track down. This is Shark Gully, bull shark territory. And suddenly we had company, but not a bull shark, way too big. That's a gigantic great white. I know I said not to worry about these sharks, but try that when you're face to face with one. But true to life, and not to legend, this gigantic monster just checked us out, then cruised on by into the big blue. I can't believe it! I swam with jaws, and I'm still here. That was a huge fish. Fantastic! Although this was an ideal spot, and we dived again and again, we didn't see a single bull shark just proves how elusive they are. So, no bull sharks, but at least I got to swim with the great white and I'm still alive. Maybe these sharks aren't the mindless man-eaters we think they are.